Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to attempt to paint this white flower. So this is a reference photo from Texture Florals. And I'm not sure what kind of flower this is, but it looks like Cosmos. So let's just try to paint that. And then let's go to the materials. I'm using Etcher Lab sketchbook. This is um, the A... I think this is the A6, the smaller, the smallest one. So you can check the link below. And then for the paint, I'm using the Art Philosophy Artist Grade Paint. And they come in tubes like this. I just squeeze it out on the half pans. And then this palette, I just got it um, just locally. But I think you can find some on Amazon. For the brush, um, let's try to use this Deerfoot brush. This is from the brand Princeton Select and it's 1 4th inch. So it's nice for creating texture. Um, I would normally use the Surikami brush but I think this is harder to find. I bought this in Japan but um, some people have uh, found it online. I just can't remember where. Um, and I also think that this is not really for painting. I just... I just used it for watercolor because it just looks interesting and it produces nice uh, texture. So for today, we're just going to use this deer foot brush and I will probably use these round brushes as well. This is from uh, the silver brush black velvet. Okay, so I have here uh, my brush and I'm just going to wet it and I have a scratch paper here just going to show you the texture that we want so let's grab a yellow paint and as you can see because the mixture is quite dry it's um it's, it's thick and there's less water in my brush i can get a nice texture like this but if there's too much um, water in my brush i will get puddles or I don't I won't even get any texture at all if there's too much water like this so we want a texture that looks like this one so let's start with the center and I'm gonna grab the permanent yellow deep so there's just not a lot of water in my brush because I want to have a texture and what you can do is once you've mixed your paint, you can also get the tissue and just dab the excess water. And then let's just try to dab the center. Okay, so... Um, I will let this dry and probably add another layer. And then for the leaves, uh, sorry, for the petals, um, I think we can create the shadow of the white petals um, using ultramarine with a little bit of burnt umber to create a neutral um, color. I'm gonna add a lot of water. Um, you can also just use paint spray if you have paint spray. That's also a good color. So I'm just going to paint like some um streaks of this neutral color and i'm going to leave um, some white spaces let's also leave this part quite open
Okay, and then you can also add a little bit of violet to your mixture. Okay, just let's just add more uh, more petals. And I think we can add another layer of strokes once this one is dry. Okay. The center is quite dry so we can add another layer of um, texture. So this time I'm going to grab the color permanent brown. You can also grab burnt sienna. Okay. So I'm also going to touch the wet parts of the petal so that it will just blend. And so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to follow the exact um, flower and we'll just sort of interpret it in a different way. Okay, so this seems quite light. I'm going to use burnt umber instead. I think I want a darker brown. Okay, I think that's better. It's nice to have a contrast so you want the center to be quite bold and then the petals can be light okay let's create one more flower right here that looks like it's like facing almost side view this is permanent yellow deep again um, then let's create the petals Okay, so I'm just going to leave some um, white spaces. And then let's paint the petal right here. It kind of looks like it's curved uh, towards the inside. Let's add a petal that's a bit bluish. I'm using ultramarine, super diluted. Okay, then I'm gonna add, uh, let's try this greenish yellow. Or if you want, you can use sap green. Um, I think we can add a stem over here. can use hooker's green and I probably will add a little bit of brown to that green to make it look more natural like it will look more earthy And we can add maybe one more flower over here. Let's put a flower that's like 
facing at the back So just mix your um, ultramarine with burnt umber, just adds a lot of water. It's supposed to be really um, diluted. Then let's add a little bit of green with brown, just like let it bleed. Okay, so let's grab some burnt umber and just going to add some detail over here. You can add more on the first flower. Okay, so I mixed my ultramarine and burnt umber and I made I mixed a more concentrated color. So we are just going to put some shadow on the petals using just uh, thin lines. then some lines you can probably try to blur with a wet brush okay then let's add some more Then let's do this one. Then let's just blur some of the lines. Okay, we're almost done. Let's just grab some um, burnt umber and add more details to this. Then we can add some veins on the leaves. okay so we are done thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up so thank you again and see you in my next video bye